Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for checking out today's video where we're going to be talking about an alternative to the bullet journal method. In fact, we're going to be talking about an entirely new notebook as well. I'm talking about the Clear Habit Journal from Baron Fig. In this video, we're going to be talking about the built-in habit trackers. We'll also be talking about the habit toolkits built right into this notebook to help you be more productive and make better decisions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Baron Fig Clear Habit Notebook. This journal is great because it really is a combination daily journal. It has space and already pre-made habit trackers for you that you can fill in yourself. It also has space for daily gratitude or prompts or things that you wanna get out of it, as well as an entire functional notebook of dot grid paper. There's no certain way you have to use this notebook. That's what I love about it the most, and you really can make it your own. And on top of that, in the back of the notebook, it has an entire toolkit that you can use to pick and try different ways of being productive for yourself. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We'll talk about the special features of this notebook, as well as the toolkit in the back, and talk about ways that you might be able to utilize this notebook for yourself. Now, before we get started, I do wanna let you know that if at any point you just absolutely love what you're seeing here, you can use my special discount code, Men Who Bullet, on the Baron Fig website, which is baronfig.com, and get 10% off anything from their store. And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the special features of the Clear Habit Journal. So, Baron Fig did a partnership along with James Clear, who is an author, most notably for his book, Atomic Habits. So, James Clear's focus is making small changes that transform your overall habits. This is why this notebook makes so much sense because this isn't trying to take habit tracking and to-dos and everything totally revolutionize how you might work today. It's about making those little tiny changes that overall affect what you're trying to do in your own life. So the partnership with him really focuses on what we're gonna learn about inside of the notebook. Now, Baron Fig does have this collection, which is the journal, which we're gonna go deep into. And then also they do have the Squire pen for this. So this is the same Squire pen that you're used to seeing from Baron Fig, except it's colored for this collection and also has the same clear habit icon here on the pen itself. We're gonna put this away for right now because we're gonna talk about the notebook specifically. So on the notebook, what you're gonna get out of this off the cover, right? You have the clear habit triangle here, which is built off of the Greek icon for the Delta, which means change. And then the slogan for this, tiny changes, remarkable results. The bottom has the Baron Fig X James Clear logo here. And then on the back, we're talking about features. So right here on the back, you'll see you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your system. And what is this Clear Habit Journal all about? It's a combination daily journal, a dot grid notebook, and also a habit tracker. It offers a journaling system based on proven science. So if you are familiar with James Clear, you'll understand that his book Atomic Habits is actually built on science proven approaches to changing your habits. So what are the journal special features? So the primary ones here that's gonna open up flat, we've got two bookmarks inside of here, number printed pages, an inner pocket. So these are the things that come standard with most notebooks. The bottom four here though is what really makes this journal stand out from the others. So in the front of it, we have a one line per day section. So if you're familiar with gratitude, daily writing, or daily idea generation, this will be really cool. The signature split grid is something I actually haven't seen before, and I'll show you exactly what that means on these pages. It really makes cutting your pages in half or splitting them really easy to do without having to worry about counting. It also has the 12 perforated habit trackers in the back where a lot of good work is gonna happen. And then also in the back, this really great habit toolkit. So as I mentioned when we started this video, this journal can be used with any type of overall system, but it actually has a few dedicated pages in the back to talk about other ways that you can be productive outside of necessarily bullet journal system or maybe some others that you've seen. So we'll also be taking a look at that. Size wise, we're at 5.4 inches by 7.7, 224 pages. It's a dateless journal, so you don't have to worry about picking this up and putting it down. And this color is gonna be in the jet black. So let's go ahead and open it up. So when we get into it, the first thing we have here is our introduction to Clear Habit Journal. Build a better self, one habit at a time. So it's talking about the Greek symbol for delta, which means difference or change in, which makes sense why we're using the triangles inside of here. And then a little bit about how you can change your habits and how helpful and powerful small changes can be in your life. So the journal itself, as we mentioned, is in black. We've got the logo here on the front for the Clear Habit. 
and the Baron Fig and James Clear here on the back. Elastic band to hold this together. We also have the two bookmarks that we were talking about before. So we've got our black and then we've got our clear habit orange, which is used across the different collection. If you're a baseball fan, these are Oreo colors for Baltimore. <laughs> where I'm from, so I gotta mention it, right? So let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at what we've got. So right in the inside, we have more of the orange and the triangles for the system itself, which is a cool design, your clear habit journal. And then we open this up and we go into some of the main special features here. So we have a quick start guide, which is letting you know how can you use this. So we've got an index, which if you're familiar with bullet journaling or any of the other notebooks and indexes in the front, so I think regardless of the system that you use, I don't think that indexes are specifically used just in bullet journaling, but you can write down the topics of your pages and track them inside of here. There's also the one line per day, which we'll take a look at as well. Also inside of this, they have this really cool dot grid system inside of these notebooks, which I had not seen before using this, but they have small little indicators on the pages, which can help you split your page in half or into thirds, and they have them at the top and on the side. So we'll take a look at that. And then in the back, this is really where this journal shines, or the habit trackers that are already built into this notebook. So with bullet journaling or any type of system where you're using a blank notebook, you have to create those yourself. So if you're not the type of person that likes to do this, this very well might be the notebook for you. So features of the index here on the side of the pages, when did we start this notebook? When did we finish this notebook? I really like that, I don't see that in a lot of notebooks. Index spaces here, it's actually split in half. So you can have the topic here and then the page numbers that you have. So I think this is actually a really nice use of space. And then the one line per day. So this is what I mentioned to you before. So it's not prescriptive on what you do with these pages, it's completely up to you. So if you just want to write a prompt what I did today and every day write down something special that happened, you can. You have your months here that you can circle here on the side so you don't have to worry about when you are or are not using these. And you don't have to use these every single month, which I really like about this journal too. If you're a fan of writing gratitude, that's something I see most common in a lot of journals. You could just write monthly gratitude here and every day write something that you're grateful for. So if you're interested in these, there are 12 months worth of the one line per day pages. So you really could use this for a full year. Next, we go into the notebook section of this notebook, and this is where you're going to have all of your dot grid pages here. Again, they have their page numbers in the bottom corner. And earlier I talked about the special feature of this, which has three indicator lines on each of these pages. They're on the top and bottom and also on the sides. If you look closely here, you see we have three other shapes along with the dot grid. We have two horizontal lines, and we also have a plus here in the middle. Now, what do they stand for? If I draw a straight line down from this line to this line, I'll break my page into thirds. And then if I draw them across here, I'll break this into a nine square grid. Now, if I wanted to split this page in half, I can draw lines from the plus signs here to split the page in half, either vertically or horizontally, or easily break this into a four point grid if I wanted to do that instead. So if you've seen other bullet journals and even the bullet journal that I currently use, I have an entire resource page in the back that helps me break up my page into columns and rows. There's no need for that inside of this notebook because it's really quick and easy to do. So you have quite a number of pages here. So however you wanted to keep this journal, you could, right? You could use the bullet journal method in here, but what's most important, I think, is what's in the back of this book once you get through all of these. Now, I did do just a pen test inside of here earlier just to show you what this looks like. For me, someone who uses different pens inside of my notebook, I do like to see how those pages look. If it's not something you're worried about, then I would not worry about it too badly. There is some slight ghosting on some of these pages, but because this is a productivity journal, I wouldn't worry about that too much. I do like to show that though in case that is something that you're interested in. So let's go ahead into the back of this notebook. So the back of this notebook has all of those habit trackers that we mentioned in the beginning of this video. All of them are perforated, so if you wanted to keep them in here, you could, or you could pull these out. All of these are actually going to work horizontally like this. So you're gonna to have to turn your notebook to use these, which in my mind makes a lot of sense because you want to really have as much space as you can get out of here. So what's on these pages? Habit trackers, tiny changes, remarkable results, which we see throughout this notebook. 
We have our month across here. So again, because this isn't a dated journal, you're going to pick when you're using this and it's not done by year. So regardless of when you are or are not using these pages, it's still a functional notebook. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see this entire column here is for your habit that you're looking to track. This could be exercise, any of your daily routines that you do, everything is on here and all you have to do is create your own key or an indicator for this by checking it off or Xing it out or maybe using a color or a shape if you wanted to. And then what you can do at the end of this is write down how many times you did that thing throughout this month. So another full year of these if you wanted to use the Clear Habit Journal. So we have the one line a day in the front that has 12 of those for each month. And then we also have 12 of the habit trackers here in the back that you could use for each month. So then in the back of this book, this is actually for me what I found extremely interesting is a toolkit section. You do not have to use the bullet journal method inside of this notebook. There's actually a lot of other different methods out there that you can utilize. And this notebook goes into them. And I really love that because not every single notebook has this resource section inside of it. But in case you wanna try something new, it has an introduction here. It also breaks all of them down, which we'll go through in just a moment to take a look at what are some other options you might have when you're going through and figuring out how you want to to make yourself most productive and perhaps change a habit. So this first page in here is all about habit tracking and talks about different ways that you can utilize the habit trackers inside of this notebook or honestly anywhere for yourself. There's a great quote over here on this side. You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. That's from John C. Maxwell. So if you're looking to make small updates for yourself, these habit trackers are really easy ways to do that. Next is the decision journal. Now, if you haven't heard of decision journals, and to be very honest with you, I hadn't heard about them either until I read through this book. Now, the method behind the decision journal breaks it down into three main key areas that you're going to break down an idea. So when you're using this, you can break your page up into three main parts, and then you're going to title each one of these rows, one with prediction. You're going to write down the date of your prediction, and it could be any type of question that you're trying to make a decision on, right? So they talk about what is the current reality of the situation? What is the range of likely future outcomes of this? What do I expect to happen? And you're gonna write that down inside of here. Next, your decision. You're gonna record the decision that you're making and then explain the reason why you're making that decision. There's also some questions to consider as you're going through this as well, right? What is my decision? What's the probability that I'm right? If I ignore my personal experiences and only consider the facts available, what choice would I made? So as you're thinking through this, what I love is this resource really gives you things to think about. And then finally, your review which I think regardless of the type of method that you're using, reviewing through what happened, whether it's your week, your month, in this case, your decisions, is a really powerful part of this because you really get to sit down and think about why did I make this decision, what happened, and maybe what went wrong. Next is second order thinking. Now, this was a really interesting method that I hadn't heard about as well. So the idea behind second order thinking is that most people are first order thinkers, right? We think about about a decision that we're making and then what's the very next thing that's going to be the outcome of that. Now second order thinking starts to go a little bit further than that. You have what's my immediate outcome or what might happen, but then you start to think a little bit further down the road into medium and long-term outcomes of that decision. So in this case, the decision here is to buy a bigger house. So first order, what are the things that immediately make sense here? We have more space for our kids. We'll have a bigger yard for the dog. We'll update the kitchen, but we also have higher mortgage payments. That's gonna be the first thing you think of. Now, what are those mid-rain outcomes? We've got more room for the kids, but that also means that we have more rooms to clean in the house. And then what happens from that? Well, maybe there's more stress from a messy house if I'm not able to keep up with it. And not everything always has a third order, but I think it's really important to also think about the positive things that come along with this. And here's a great example. We'll update the kitchen inside of our bigger home and we'll feel better about the housing cost. And we'll feel better about hosting guests at our house. We might have higher mortgage payments, so that means less money for vacations, but maybe we're doing something more inside of the house instead. 
This is actually something really cool that I think I might just bring into my normal bullet journaling as something to take a look at or just a way to think. But if you wanted to, you could do this all right inside of this journal. The next one is the Eisenhower box. So I've actually seen this referred to as quadrant thinking before because you break down your ideas into these four main quadrants. And depending on where they fall, you document them inside of here. So the way that these works is the four main quadrants. So in this case, what you would do is actually use the plus signs that are inside of here to draw in your four quadrants. And the way that this works is you're going to title each of these with urgent matters and not urgent matters. And then you're gonna capture things by urgent and important or urgent or not important, or not urgent and important, not urgent, but also not important. So it's just a way to kind of break down the way in which you take on your priorities in your day, in your week, in your month. This also could be really powerful with a brain dump. Maybe you list everything out in a brain dump of what's going on with you, and then you take each of those items and put them inside and use this Eisenhower box to help you figure out what you're going to be doing. And here's a great quote over here from Eisenhower as well. What is important is seldom urgent and what is urgent is seldom important. Thank you, Dwight Eisenhower, for your knowledge. The next one here is the Ivy Lee method. Now, the Ivy Lee method is actually really interesting because you're thinking forward about the things you need to do tomorrow. So there's a great history around Ivy Lee and what this means. So it talks about Charles M. Schwab, who was the president of a large steel company, met with a consultant who was Ivy Lee. And the story goes essentially that with 15 minutes, you can help anyone be more productive. And what's cool about this story is that Lee didn't charge Schwab anything upfront, but said, if this works for you in three months, you can send me a check for whatever you think is worth it. So the way that this works is at the end of each workday, you write down the six most important things you need to accomplish tomorrow, and you limit yourself to six of those tasks. Then what you do is prioritize those six items in the order of their actual true importance. And then that way, when you go to work the next day, you focus on your first task and you don't stop until you do that task. So you're not gonna be jumping around all day long. You're gonna be very focused on what you want to try to achieve. And then the way that this works is that anything that you don't accomplish in that day that you don't get to, you go to the next day. So here's a really great example of how one day works inside of the Ivy Lee method. So we would write down tomorrow's date and the top six things that I need to accomplish in that day. And you also leave an area for notes down here. So as you go through, you would exercise. That's the first thing you want to do until you complete it. You're done. See the doctor for a checkup, get prescriptions, meet David for dinner, answer emails. As a great ending to the story about how Schwab ended up paying Lee is that he actually ended up paying $25,000 for how well this worked for him and his teams. What's cool is that along with teaching you this method, these sections also start to really talk a lot about how to use this notebook for yourself. So for example, it talks about splitting your page with that first line that's going across your page, which will then leave enough space for the six things you need to do that day and your date, and then leave the bottom of the page here for your notes. And the focus really here is using every single day to do this. This is actually a really great method. Again, another one that I hadn't heard of before I read through this book. Then we start to go into a toolkit around things that you can use in here for tracking. So this journal doesn't just have to be for work. It doesn't have to be for tasks and to-dos. You can also use this notebook dedicating it for whatever you want. So aside from using this as a productivity journal, you can also use this to hit your major goals. In this case, here's a fitness toolkit about a workout tracker and breaking down into three main areas that you want to track out. So if you wanna track things like your body weight or any of the exercises you're doing, you can. And because of the way the pages are set up, you don't have to worry about using one page a day unless you wanted to. You can easily break this up into three parts and each day track what you're doing. And then that's the end of the notebook. So you have your folder back here if you want to keep anything inside of here and the nice paper. 
So as I mentioned before, the Clear Habit Journal on the Baron Fig website is $24 if you're interested in that. There's also the Clear Habit Squire pen. This pen is $60 on their website currently. You can purchase both of these together for $75 if you're interested. And as I mentioned before, whether you want just the journal, just the pen, or any of the products on there, even the combination of both of these, you can use my discount code, which is Men Who Bullet, which will get you 10% off either this kit, these items, or anything on the Baron Fig website. All right, thank you so much for checking out this video with me today. I hope that you found something cool inside of this Clear Habit journal. Even if you're not interested in the journal itself, I think the toolkits in the back were really helpful and maybe things you can take and research on your own and use any type of notebook that you'd like. Now, don't forget if you specifically like this journal or any of the other products from Baron Fig, you can use my special discount code, which is men who bullet at checkout on their website, which is baronfig.com, and get 10% off every Thing that you buy. It's not too bad. No extra cost for you. If you like this type of video talking about other productivity methods or even just notebooks, make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content around personal organization, bullet journaling, stationery, and other plan with me videos. We'll talk to you next week. Have a great one.